All right, what is up, YouTube? We are here with our next chunk of deck profiles. The first one we're going to be looking at is Hunter Lloyd's Dark Warrior Turbo. And unfortunately, well, he got ninth place at his regional. I do feel really bad for him. But this deck has been going around. A lot of people are looking to evolve the concept, ripping cards from your opponent's hand or trying to be that cool guy you know, with Neo Space Connect, like, this engine didn't get touched on the list, like, it's still very much here, and it is still a problem, and of course, we're still looking at ways to abuse Azathoth, and things like that, so this deck is basically using the Orcust engine as a means to turbo out these resources to put monsters on the board, and basically play the game, I mean, ending on a Dark Law Azathoth, it can be pretty cute. So we have one copy of Armageddon Knight, we have triple copies of Jackalope, and triple copies of Suchinoko, one copy of Dark Greffer, two copies of Malicious. Had this card not actually gotten restricted in the current format, I actually kind of think we might have had some problems, but since they preemptively took care of a lot of these things, you know, we did it. We have one Dogaron, one Shadow Mist, one Gamma Seal, one Kumamungus, Triple copies of Connector, one copy of Aqua Dolphin, and then of course we have two Symbol Skeleton, one Harpoor, and two of the Orcust Nightmare, along with one Radeon, one Ancient Cloak, one Silent Boots, and one of the World Wand. Spells we have one copy of Autonomous Action Unit, one copy of Axe of Fools. Equip Monster will gain a thousand attack, but its effects are negated. I actually kind of like this. This is a little bit more of a techie choice that I think a lot of people kind of forget about, but giving this to a monster and blinking its effect for the turn, this is literally just auto draw and negate against certain plays. So, very powerful. One copy of Divine Sword Phoenix Blade, one Foolish Bro. Two copies of Instant Fusion, one copy of Living Fossil, one Mass Change 2, one copy of Orchestrated Babble, of course, Overdone Burial, one Rank Up Magic Quick Launch, and one Fog Blade, one Shade Brigadine, wrapping up the main deck. Now, as I said, your Dark Law as a Thought Turbo, and literally, that's all you want to do is you're pumping out these monsters and watching your opponent just cringe the entire time. Now, the extra deck, we have one Rusty Tin Can Man, one Summon Sorceress, one Orchestron, uh, one Long Grease Sue, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, one Cerberus, one Isolde, one Galtea, of course, um, one Boral Sword, one Boral Load, one Time Thief Redoer, one Azathot, one Dark Law, one copy of Rajin himself. And then the side deck, a little bit more stable here. We have two Lancia, two copies of Prangatops, two copies of Droll, triple copies of Twin Twister, triple copies of Evenly Matched, and triple copies of Red Reboot. So I do want to say, for all intents and purposes here, that this is... it. it I'm glad to see that Dark Warrior survived. I am not happy to see that the deck is still... You know what I mean? Like, more diversity in the format is not a bad thing for the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But we kind of reach this point, and it's like, oh, oh boy, you know, is Sol Day still a very good card? Yes, she is. But, at the way that the current game is developing and things like that, it... It leaves a lot to be desired, I feel. So, good job, Hunter Lloyd. And I gotta give a shout out to Team Solar System Duelist for him as well. Alright, the next list I actually have for you guys is the second place spiral deck list um, from. Oh man, where did he send this? Okay, first up. Uh, Team name is Nephilim Card Gaming. It is uh, Ike Fay. Uh, he placed first. It's weird. <laughs> the weird thing would be the three spiral tough, but we had a new ban list, so most of the people would play control decks like Altergeist and Sky Striker against both matchups. It's broken. Uh, in the side, he chose to play the most generic possible. Uh, and at the moment, Book of Eclipse and Evenly were really good side deck cards against Thunder Dragons, which is really good. Um, <laughs> so. I do want to point that out. So, I do 
hope that I, I think that this is cool. Like Spiral Danger is a little bit different of a spin on the concept. I know a lot of people are like, oh no, he's combining the Danger Engine and Spirals. I mean, between this and the other Spiral deck list, you guys got options for things you want to try. So we have triple copies of Mothman to fix those situational hands. Uh, we have triple copies of Nessie. Searching is good. Jackalope for, well, doing what Jackalope does best. And then one copy of Snack. Hmm. Hi, Snack. And of course we have one Corrupt Ribley, one Drone, one Last Resort, one Master Plan, one Quick Fix, one Sleepy Boy, triple Super Agent, and triple Tough. Spells we have triple Called by the Grave, one Card Destruction, one Foolish Grill, one Foolish Grill Goods, one Monster Reborn, one Day Peace. Am I starting to miss something here? Is this card is this card actually good this format? I don't know. I uh, leave that up to your interpretation. Uh, we have one copy of Rhoda, one Big Red, one Assault, one Resort, two Terraforming, one Upstart Goblin, and of course we have triple Rescue for his traps. And then the extra deck down here we have Trigate Wizard, of course. We have one Summon Sorceress, two Double Helix, one Ceruja, one Reproticus, one Link Karibo, one Unicorn, two Phoenix, one Mermaid, one copy of Cerberus, one of the Chalice, uh, one Boral Sword, and one Boral Load. Uh, the side deck here, we have triple copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of Gamma Seal, triple copies of Book of Eclipse, two Twin Twister, two Evenly Matched, and triple copies of Red Reboot. Wrapping this up, I, I do want to say that I think the fact that Spirals are even doing anything in this format actually... It, it excites me. I, I'm excited for this, as are a lot of people. Um, having more diversity in the format? I don't know where all these spiral decks are actually coming from right now, but you know what? No real complaints. Am I right, or am I right? So, just stay educated. You know, don't be afraid to, you know, dig out the spiral core and be like, hmm, hey, this, this might not be a little bit. Now, the next list we are actually going to be looking at is Sam Shaner's Going Second Sky Striker. And he actually kind of evolved this from the concept um, that he actually shared with us from the YCS. You guys remember seeing his deck profile. Um, I wanted to go ahead and cover this because he got sixth at his regional, which is saying something for the current format. So, uh, innovations here, um, just things to mention. Um, people are looking at this as just kind of another extender um, to Special Summon. Um, okay, I get it. Prankatops is a good card. You know, you're going second. You want to take a lot of advantage of these things? Absolutely. Um, outside of that, I mean, everything that you want in a going second build. Um, he's playing Ghost Bills. I'm still a little bit intrigued by the Ash Blossom theory that we saw yesterday, so. I'll leave that one alone. So we have two copy or triple copies of Ash Blossom, triple copies of Dino Wrestler Prankatops, two copies of Ghost Bell, triple copies of Ray. We have triple copies of Foolish Braille Goods, one Metal Foes Fusion, one Rota, two Area Zero, one Afterburners, one Eagle Booster, one Hornet Drones, one Shark Cannon, triple Widow Anchor, two Multi Roll. Well, once again, a lot of people are definitely thinking that this is correct, and I'm I'm not going to argue that for sake of the community at the moment like i think this this is very good like you can brick with three um so just kind of things to you're either playing two or three uh, of course we have tribal copies of engage um one terraforming a lot of people are really starting to hit me with the zero one of terraforming i i don't know like i'm intrigued by these ratio changes two twin twisters one dino wrestling arena we have triple copies of evenly and triple copies of Yield and permanence. Uh, the extra deck down here we have triple Shizuku, two copies of Kaina, triple copies of Kagari, triple copies of Hayate, and then one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Claren Rushka, and one Boral Sword. Remember, this is mainly for your Alter Geist matchup. I think Alter Geist are really falling to the wayside right now, and that's both a good and a bad thing um, in the current format, but interesting to know. Side deck we have triple mind control, taking those key cards away from our opponent is beautiful. Triple copies of shared ride. We have one copy of jamming waves, one Hercules base. This is more or less for the grindier matchups that you feel that you're going to need it for. I absolutely like this. And then of course we have one copy of twin twister. Triple copies of yield summon limit. Actually I, I seen this being played against Sky Striker. Now Sky Striker has integrated it into their own deck and are using it as a means to punish other players.
Absolutely. And of course, we have triple copies of Typhoon. I've never seen a Sky Striker community so split between going first and going second builds. Like, there's a lot going on right now um, between these. I'm just more or less covering the going second builds because, to me, that is the innovation that we want to see. So, once again, guys, thank you to all of you that sent in your deck profiles this week. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing all the Solomon Great deck profiles next week, guys. All right, I'm out. Peace. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and sing all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.